Thank you for being a registered user of Service Manager Pro. Service Manager Pro 1.5 is under development, and the first thing we chose to release is an update to the user settings section of Service Manager Pro. And the first time you log into the user settings section, you'll need to click on this area right here that says create a password, and it will automatically generate a password and send it over to your email. And once you get that, email it'll look very similar to this and it'll have a password in there all you need to do then is copy and paste the password right into here or retype the password in there click on change user settings and you'll be ready to go most of you have seen this information before where it's got your company name contact information that kind of stuff the three different labor rates the a b and c labor rates you're you all are familiar with that also the global settings for the multiplier that changes all the labor times and service times currently uh, at one time so what we've chosen to do is give you a little bit more flexibility and added agility of service manager pro now you can set the multiplier by vehicle type and by manufacturer and whether it's a service time or labor time so if we look here at Aprilia you've got motorcycles and scooters Articats, ATV, multi-purpose vehicles, or side-by-sides, and snowmobiles. Here, you can set the ATV multiplier independently from anything else for just Articat. And what we what we recommend is setting the multiplier at about plus 60% for ATVs and UTVs in the wetter climates, where you've got a lot of mud and a lot of muck being uh, buried into these into these ATVs and side-by-sides. And if you want any advice on how to set your multiplier, just hover over the little question mark right there and it'll give you some some recommendations from us labor times refer to the labor operations in the labor times database or warranty times database that you guys have been using for the last several years the service times refer to the labor times at the bottom of the service schedules for say examples the Hondas and Yamahas a lot of those models have labor times associated with the 5,000 mile service or the 10,000 mile service or 15,000 mile service that section right there refers to those service times so you can set those independently from the labor operations and labor repair times if you have any questions about this new functionality please don't hesitate to give us a call here at the office thanks a lot and have a great day